Smokey Robinson, born William Robinson Jr. on February 19, 1940, in Detroit, Michigan, is a legendary American singer, songwriter, and record producer. He grew up in a modest household in the North End area of Detroit. Robin's childhood was marked by a deep love for music, which he developed at an early age. As a child, Robinson idolized the likes of Nat King Cole and Billy Eckstein, whose smooth vocals and heartful performances inspired him. He began singing in his church choir and participating in local talent shows during his formative years. Robinson attended Northern High School, where he formed a singing group called The Five Chimes, later renamed The Metadors. In 1955, Robinson met future Motown founder Barry Gordy Jr. while they were both attending the same high school. Their friendship and shared passion for music would eventually lead to the formation of Motown Records, a pivotal moment in the history of popular music. After high school, Robinson continued to pursue his musical ambitions, and in 1957, the Metadors auditioned for Jackie Wilson's manager, Nate Turnapole, and caught the attention of Barry Gordy. Gordy signed the group to his newly formed record label, Tamla Records, which later became Motown. The Metadors underwent a name change, becoming the Miracles, with Robinson as the lead singer and primary songwriter. Under Robinson's guidance, the Miracles achieved significant success with hits like Shop Around, You Really Got a Hold on Me, and Ooh Baby Baby. Establishing Robinson as one of the most talented and influential figures in the burgeoning Motown sound. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Robinson's career flourished, both as a solo artist and with the Miracles. He penned numerous hits for the group, as well as for other Motown acts. Solidifying his reputation as a gifted songwriter, some of his most notable compositions include My Girl for The Temptations and The Tears of a Clown for The Miracles. Robinson's distinctive falsetto voice and heartfelt lyrics set him apart as a songwriter and performer of extraordinary talent. His ability to blend elements of rhythm and blues with soulful melodies resonated with audiences across racial and cultural divides, earning him widespread acclaim. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Robinson's star continued to rise, both as a solo artist and with the Miracles. He penned numerous hits for the group and other Motown acts, solidifying his reputation as one of the era's most influential songwriter. While he may not have pursued acting as extensively as his music career, his charm and charisma have made him a memorable presence on screen. Here are some of his notable roles. The Drew Carey Show, 1999. Smokey Robinson guest star in an episode titled Drew Stock, as himself. The episode revolves around Drew Carey organizing a music festival, and Smokey Robinson's appearance adds to the star-studded lineup. The Cosby Show, 1988. Robinson made a guest appearance on this iconic sitcom in the episode titled The Card Game. He played the character Smokey, a friend of Cliff Huxtable, played by Bill Cosby, who joins in as a friendly card game with the Huxtable family. The X-Files, 2002. In the ninth season episode titled Lord of the Flies, Smokey Robinson portrayed himself in a cameo appearance. The episode featured a subplot involving a character named Layla Harrison, a huge fan of Smokey Robinson, who gets to meet him briefly. Double Platinum, 1999. This made-for-television movie stars Diana Ross and Brandy Norwood. Smokey Robinson appears as himself in a cameo role, adding to the star-studded cast of the film. Smokey Robinson has been married twice. Claudette Rogers Robinson. Claudette Rogers Robinson had a name for herself aside from being Smokey's wife. She was a member of the music group 
the miracles along with her husband. In fact, she even had her own title as the first lady of Motown. Both a singer and songwriter, she first got her star in a group called the Metadorettes, while her brother, Sonny Roger, was in a band called the Metadors. When they left the group to serve in the military, she took his place and the group became the Miracles. That's how she met Smokey. Claudetta and Smokey tied the knot in 1959 and had two kids together. Their first child, Barry Robinson, named after Barry Gordy, the founder of Motown, was born in 1968. His younger sister, Tanla Robinson, was born a year later in 1969. The two have plenty of ups and downs in their marriage. In 2023, Smokey admitted to having an affair with Diana Ross while married to Claudette. But we were working together and it just happened. But it was beautiful. She's a beautiful lady and I love her right till today. He confessed to The Guardian in an interview published in April 27, 2023. He added that the affair lasted one year. She's one of my closest people, the cruising hitmaker continued about Diana. She was young and trying to get her career together. I was trying to help her. I brought her to Motown. In fact, I wasn't going after her and she wasn't going after me. It just happened. He said Diana ended their affair because she knew it wasn't right. After we'd been seeing each other for a while, Diana said to me she couldn't do that because she knew Claudette and she knew I still loved my wife. The music icon remembered, and I did. I loved my wife very much. It's not clear what year Smokey and Diana had their affair, but his ex-wife Claudette first caught him cheating in 1974. They separated that year, and the time apart inspired his song, The Agony and the Ecstasy. He cheated on her again, which resulted in getting another woman pregnant and the birth of his son, Trey, in 1984. That was the final straw for their relationship, and he filed for separation. They later divorced in 1986. It's important for him to show that older people are still sexual beings, he said. When I hear of grandfathers and grandmothers who are 60 years old being talked about, us as if you're counting them out and putting them out to pasture. I think it's ridiculous. This is a new era of life. I feel 50. He has no intention of turning into an old man, whatever his age. Francis Glantney. The Being With You singer married Frances, an interior designer, in 2002. She was accompanied her husband to several red carpet events over the years, including the 2006 Kennedy Center Honors, and the 2011 American Music Awards. The couple are also business partners. In 2017, they announced the launch of their own skincare collections called the Get Ready and My Girl Lines, named after two of Smokey's most popular songs he has written. I have dry skin due to my extensive travel schedule. I also play a lot of golf. The Grammy winner told Medium.com in April 2017. Francis and I were looking for a solution. We tried just about everything that was on the market. The Get Ready and My Girl skincare lines are designed for people of color, not just black people. The products are made for people with pigmentation in their skin and were developed for that sole purpose. It's important for him to show that older people are still sexual beings, he says. When I hear of grandfathers and grandmothers who are 60 years old being talked about as if you're counting them out and putting them out to pasture, I think it's ridiculous. This is a new era of life. I feel 50. He has no intention of turning into an old man, whatever his age. Has his attitude towards sex changed since he was a teenager? I still feel the same way. Only I'm wiser with it. When you're young and you have those exploratory feelings about sex, you haven't lived enough to know the value of it. So yes, I have a different attitude to it. But I still feel sexual, and I hope I'll always feel like that. Okay, chronologically. I'm 83, but it's not really my age. 
We are chatting on a video call. Robinson lives in Los Angeles with his second wife, Frances Glantney, a successful interior designer. But today he is in New York publicizing gasms. His hair, his jet black, his eye, golden green, his skin tall, his teeth alpine white. The look might not be 100% natural, but it works. Even if he allowed his hair to go gray, his teeth to yellow, and his skin to stack, Robinson would be youthful, possibly more so. It, the voice, the energy, the enthusiasm, and the smarts all make him young. So who are Smokey Robinson's three children? Here's everything to know about Barry, Tamla, and Trey. Barry Robinson. Robinson and Rogers welcomed their first child, Barry William Borough Robinson, in 1968. Robinson shared that his then wife experienced seven miscarriages before they welcomed their son via a surrogate. Basically, that's why she had to leave the group. We were trying to have kids, he told the independent of Roger's departure from the Miracles. The couple named their firstborn after Robinson's best friend and founder of Motown Records, Barry Gordy, who was also chosen as Barry's grand godfather. Tamla Robinson Robinson and Rogers welcomed their second child and first daughter, Tamla Claudette Robinson, in 1971. The Quiet Storm singer revealed that the doctor who helped them find the surrogate to carry their son built a cervical brace for Rogers to help her carry a new pregnancy to Tam. When it was time, they removed it and my daughter Tamla was born, he told Pittsburgh Quarterly. The couple also chose a symbolic moniker for their daughter, naming her after Motown's original name, Tamla Records. Gordy was also named Tamla's godfather. Tamla followed in her parents' footsteps in the entertainment industry serving as executive producer of the First Lady of Motown, the Claudette Robinson story, and the director of her mom's personal archives. She also runs the clothing shop Born Star, which was inspired by the creative environment she grew up in. Trey Robinson Robinson and Candy welcomed their son, Trey Robinson, in 1984. Robinson had an on-and-off 20-year affair with Candy, causing his and Rogers' marriage to ultimately end. Despite his infidelity, Rogers remained on good terms with both Trey and Candy. The prolific songwriter behind some of the biggest hits of the mid to late 20th century revealed that as Trey was growing up, Candy even stipulated in her will that if anything happened to her, she wanted Rogers to raise him. Motown legendary Smokey Robinson has listed his 9,075-square-foot California mansion for a discounted price of $7.99 million, hoping for a third time lucky after previous attempts to sell the property failed. The whitewashed six-bedroom property on the star-studded Chatsworth Estate includes a wine cellar, man cave, movie theater with reclining leather seats, and a 2,000-square-foot guest house. It first hit the market in 2005 for a cool $10.5 million and was lowered to $10 million in 2007 with no success. Robinson, 74, purchased a three-story home for $2.7 million in 2002. His second wife, Frances, was in charge of interior design and it took a year to get the 90s built up to scratch. She designed a men's room for Robinson and his friends to hang out in, decking it with a pool table, plasma TV, and trophy cabinet. Other unique features of the house include three kitchens, six and a half bathrooms, ten fireplaces, and a gym. Outside, there is a heated swimming pool and two and a half acres of landscape garden. As of 2024, Smokey Robinson's net worth is estimated to be around $150 million. Smokey Robinson earned his wealth primarily through his successful career as a singer, songwriter, record producer, and executive. He is one of the founding members of the Motown Records, where he served as a singer, songwriter, and producer for many successful Motown artists, such as The Temptations, The Miracles, and Marvin Gaye.
Robson has also released his own music as a solo artist and with his group, The Miracles. He has written and produced many hit songs, including Shop Around, You've Really Got a Hold on Me, The Tears of a Clown, and Being With You. In addition to his music career, Robinson has also appeared in films and television shows and has written an autobiography. Smokey Robinson, the legendary singer, a songwriter and record producer, is known not only for his contributions to the music industry, but also for his passion for collecting cars over the years. Robinson has amassed an impressive collection of classy and luxurious vehicles that showcases love for automobile classic cars collection. One of the highlights of Smokey Robinson's car collection is his array of classic. These vintage vehicles represent a bygone era of automotive design and craftsmanship, from iconic American muscle cars to elegant European sports. Robinson's collection includes a diverse range of classics that have been, been meticulously restored and preserved. Luxury car collection. In addition to classic cars, Smokey Robinson also owns a number of luxurious vehicles that cater to his refined taste and style. High-end cars from prestigious brands offer both comfort and performance, reflecting Robinson's appreciation for fine automobiles. Whether it's a sleek sports car or a luxurious sedan, collection boasts an assortment of top-tier vehicles, personalized touches. Robinson's car collection is not just about the cars themselves, it's also about the personal touches he adds to each vehicle. From custom paint jobs to personalized license plate, he infuses his unique style into his cars, making them truly one of a kind. Customizations further showcase his passion for cars and attention to detail, maintenance, and care of a car. Collection of this caliber requires dedication and care, and Smokey Robinson ensures that his vehicle are kept in pristine condition. Regular maintenance, storage, and controlled environments, and expert restoration work is all part of preserving the integrity and value of his cherished car collection. In conclusion, Smokey Robinson's car collection reflects not only his love for automobiles, but also his appreciation for craftsmanship and design and individuality of each car in his collection tells a story.